welcome to another video. This time we're gonna speak about um, what is a CDD, a complex device driver in AutoSAR. As a starting point, I think it's very important and useful and helpful to start with uh, the requirements. So for this, let's uh, read together a little bit and to see what is a um, CDD. Um, and how we can use it and then we will go on and try to um, create one. So um, a complex div um, driver is a software entity not standardized by AutoZAR that can access or be accessed via AutoZAR interfaces and or basic software module APIs. According to the uh, layer software architecture this is another document that you can check. Uh, CDD is a specific module located in the complex driver layer of the basic software. Here, more exactly, uh, is located here, above, uh, under the um, RTE, and um, can interact here with the rest of the um, architecture, which is issue abstraction layer or the other layers. Good. Which interacts with standard, as I said, uh, basic software modules or RTE. So it can interact also with the RTE. So the main actions for this um, are a CDD may need to interface to modules of the layered software architecture a module of the layered software architecture may need to interface to a CDD. Yes, it's normal. A CDD may need to interface software components via the RTE. So, any module which is located in the complex driver layer needs to communicate through RTE in order to reach a software component, which is above the RTE. Okay, let's read a little bit more. The main goal of the CDD is to implement a sensor evaluation and actuated control with direct access to the microcontroller using specific interrupts and or complex microcontroller peripherals, external devices, etc. to fulfill the special function and timing requirements. In addition, it might be used to implement or enhance services protocols or encapsulates legacy functionality of non autosar system. Meaning, you can implement here which things that are not standardized and need to fulfill some requirements specific to your project. CDD implementation might be application, um, microcontroller and ECU dependent. So a CDD can serve as a mechanism of migration to introduce existing or new concepts in the AutoZAR software architecture. I think we can stop here with the documentation. You can go on and read by your own because there are a, a lot of more information, uh, but I think it's enough for us to um, see where it's located and how it's used and for what it's used. And, um, as a starting point, uh, it's enough. Let's skip to the um, creation. Okay, so for this one, um, we will start as a um, reference. We will use this SPD, which is um, created in another video. You can check that also. Uh, but now, um, this is, as you can see here, this is an application software component type. And now we want to create a uh, complex device driver component type. In this um, particular case, um, we can say that um, a complex device driver is very similar in some aspects to a software component. Is located differently and it can access, uh, let's, as we saw, um, you know, issue uh, abstraction layer or the microcontroller directly with no need of the RTE, 
but for uh, this uh, implementation uh, it's, it has some similarities and but um, compared to the application software component is not so strict in the ways of communicating and accessing okay uh, so let's create a new file which is um, um, a new rxml file and we will call it um, let's say tlt okay at this point uh, we want to add as um, we did here for the application uh, software component but now we want to add a new child which is this one a complex device driver software component also like uh, for the software component we need to add an um, we need to add an um, software internal behavior and uh, like we did for this uh, application and under this we also need to add uh, if we want uh, a timing event and uh, a runnable so a runnable and um, a timing event good now let's specify like we did for the software component the period for this one is let's say 10 milliseconds 0 0.01 and the runnable we can um, and we need to specify here like we did for the the short name and the symbol um, so <coughs> the short name it's um, TLT runnable and for the symbol this will be the name that you will see in the generated code we will type here as a V from void good so at this point we have um, a timing event and a runnable now we need to map, yes, as we did for the software component, we need to map <coughs> the runnable to the timing event. And here, so, and we will choose TLT. Good. Now we will do another um, element and now we will add the software implementation of course we can do this um, uh, by adding you know at the same level of the complex device driver component with the new child uh, but we can also um, we can also copy this to not lose so much time so we can copy this and add exactly um, under the AR root uh, package. Good. So we have here the code section with the Ondosar engineering object, as we have also for the software component. Then we have um, 
the resource consumption with the memory section which is also added here so i think this is enough basically to have um, a complex device uh, driver component it's um, sufficient to have like this some like for the um, applic application software component type we may need some other configurations um, and links here but uh, i think it's enough to see that um, this is um, a complex device driver um, module thank you very much and um, have a nice day bye bye